ஸோ வெல்கம் டு மை சேனல் என் கோச்சிங் சென்டர் ஸோ டுடே ஐம் கோயிங் டு நியூ லெவன் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் பயாலஜி சாப்டர் ஃபைவ் தட் இஸ் மாஃபாலஜி ஆஃப் ஃப்ளவரிங் பிளான்ட் ஸோ வாட் இஸ் மீன் பை த மாடிஃபிகேஷன் ஆஃப் ஃப்ரூட் அண்ட் வாட் இஸ் த டைம்ஸ் ஆஃப் மாடிஃபிகேஷன் ஆஃப் ஃப்ரூட் இஸ் ஃபோன் இன் த பேனியன் ட்ரீ டர்னிங் அண்ட் அதர் திங் ஸோ ப்ரைமரிலி தேர் ஆர் டூ டைப்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃப்ரூட் சிஸ்டம் ஃபோன் இன் பிளான்ட்ஸ் நேம்லி த டேப் ரூட் அண்ட் த ஃபைப்ரஸ் ரூட் சிஸ்டம் அண்ட் த மெயின் ஃபங்க்ஷன் ஆஃப் த ரூட் இஸ் டாப் டோர் வாட்டர் அண்ட் த மினரல்ஸ் ஆன் த சாய் ஸோ பேனியன் ட்ரீ இட் இஸ் எ மேசிவ் pillar like adventurous root arising from the iron part of the stem and drum and sorry next let us know about the basic pollen treatment on the basis of western features of underground parts of the plants are not always root flowers is a modified fruit so various parts of the plants are modified into underground structure to perform various functions such as stems leaves and even and these stems are in ginger and pineal or underground and savannah due to store the food and during the next during the flowering season the apical male stem gives rise to the floral male stem and the axis of the stem gets uh, condensed uh, and while the uh, internodes the uh, while the internodes lie near each other they both are each other so the uh, instead of trees various form of things arise from node next pentel compound leaf compound leaf so next uh, pinnately compound leaf sare edunu kodti banni madam banni sir mattu so pinnately compound leaf so the leaflets are attached as common axis is called as the rachis and the leaflets attached as common point on the leaf stalk is the palmetum leaf next let us know about the suitable example of different types of phyllotaxy so phyllotaxy refers to the pattern or arrangement of the leaf on the stem or branches of plant and there are three types alternate opposite and overlapped in the alternate phyllotaxy a single leaf arises from the node of branch next let us know about the activation and plant cultivation and also actino epi petalous stem so acidification so that means it refers to the mode of spear in which sepals or petals are arranged in floral budding and placentation that term placentation refers to the arrangement of ovules within the ovary of the plant and uh, actinomorphic so actinomorphic flowers can be divided into two radical halves by an radical plane passing through its center and zygomorphic so zygomorphic flowers are the flowers which can be divided into two similar halves by a single vertical plane and superior ovary superior ovary flowers are those flowers in which the gynoecium is present in the highest position while other floral parts are arranged below and perigenous flowers of the perigenous flower or the gynoecium gynoecium is present in the center and the rest of the flower part are arranged in the rim and epipodal stem epipodal stems or stamens attached to the petals next what is the difference between rhizomous and cymous fibrous root and adventitious root and apocarpus and cynocarpus ovary so rhizomous inferior and cymous so younger flowers are present in the tips while older flowers are arranged in the basis of its inflorescence and younger flowers are present on the basis of the inflorescence while the older flowers are present at the top next in fibrous root so in monocots the primary roots which develop from the radical of the seed is short lived and is respect is replaced by a large number of roots and the uh, adventitious roots these roots are arise from uh, any part of the plant other than the radical of the plant and apopar uh, apo carpus ovary and cynocarpus ovary the flowers with the apocarpus ovary have more than one carpel and these carpels are free and the flowers within the cynocarpus ovary have more than one carpel and have the carpels are fused next let us know about see the diagram of gram seed and vs of maize seed the suitable example so stem or the of uh, various plants have i have undergone uh, modification to perform different functions and undergo ground stems or storage stems so in ginger and banana the underground stems is called as the rhizome 
I am super uh, super tight stems. So the stems in some uh, weak plants bear then bear thin, slender and spir- uh, and spirally coiled coiled structure called as tendrils. Next, the next stem is the photosynthetic stem. So the stem in the Opentia Opentia is green, and other stem modification in some plants undergo crown stems such as grasses spread in the soil and helps in the parentation. Next, so families. Next, let us know about the one fa- flower each of the families and other things. So flower features. And here they have given us about the interferences, flower, calyx, and corolla, and corolla, and dioecious, gymnosperm, and the fruit. And here they have given the diagram. So floral diagram of family Papilionaceae and flowers of Solanum, Solanum nigrum family. So floral here they here also the same. And this is the diagram of the Solanaceae. Next, let us describe the types of placentation found in the flowering plants. So the first type is marginal placentation, the ovary in which the placenta forms a ridge along with the ventral st- ventral suture of the ovary and the ovules develop on the two uh, separate rows is known as the marginal placentation like this and, pa- and parietal placentation when the ovule develop on the inner walls of the ovary, the ovary is Ovules are attached to it and basal placentation. So the ovary in which the placentation develops from its base and a single ovule is found attached to the base is said to be a basal placentation. It's pre pla- pre central placentation. So in pre central placentation, the ovules develop on the central axis while the septa are absent and this type of placentation is found in the next. Let us know what is flower and let us describe the parts of the typical and injuries from flower. So, a flower can be defined as the reproductive unit of the flowering plant. So, parts of flowers are the calyx. So, the calyx from the outermost hole of a flower which contains sepals and the corolla, the flower is a, a, a corolla of a flower is a layer that lies inside the calyx and the andre, androeum or the stamen is the male reproductive part of the flower and the genoecium is the female reproductive part of the flower. Okay. So next is the various leaf modification helps plant. How it helps so tendrils. So the leaves of pea plants are modified into tendrils, spines. The leaves of cactus are modified into sharp spines and phyloid that end and the phyloid. The leaves of some Australian Asia have short lived and soon replaced by flattened and pitcher. The leaves of the pitcher plant are modified into pitcher like structure. Next, let us define about the inflorescence. So, inflorescence is the manner in which the flowers are arranged uh, on the flowering axis, and during the flowering season, the vegetative apex of the stem gets converted into a floral merry stem. So, this is the bi- uh, bisexual flower indicated like this, and like this and the corolla like this and the andorisium a5 the male reproductive you have to represent like this and genosium you have to represent like g2 next let us know about the arrangement of flora members in relation to their insertion of thalamus so they are the type of the hypogenous flower so the ovary occupied the highest position and the perigenous flower the ovary is situated at the center and the epigo known as flower the thalamus grows around the ovary fusing with its with its wall so okay friends this was your chapter morphology of flowering plant so like the video comment on the and subscribe my channel and questions and for more video i will see many students in another chapter too then take care have a nice day bye my dear friends